Hello, I'm Christopher Kennedy and welcome to Trap Code in Action, where we're going to look at the amazing Trap Code suite. And we'll start by looking at Particular. This is one of the most popular plugins, but one that people find difficult to use. Rather than working through the settings laboriously one by one, I'll get you to create some interesting spark effects, and that should give you enough knowledge that you can go on to create your own. We'll look at the deeper physics of Particular, so you can create floating embers and rapid ways to create masses of complex particles with mixed colors and lighting effects. We'll also look at using your own images within Particular, so you can import an image, make it into a particle, multiply it thousands of times, and have it float through the image in various colors and sizes. Then we'll look at applying Particular to real-world footage. So you track the footage with the After Effects 3D camera, add Particular, and then you can adjust the settings so that the particles genuinely appear to be interacting with the world and bouncing off the floor. And when you add motion blur, this looks truly realistic. We'll then move on to Trap Code Lux, which is a way of making After Effects light show up visibly as volumetric light. Lux is easy to apply, but getting it to work exactly the way you want takes a little bit of inside knowledge. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to add several volumetric lights and move them around in 3D space and you can even add particle effects that interact with these lights. Trap Code Shine is another popular plugin that is frequently misused, so we'll look at ways of making this work effectively. I'll go into all the deeper settings so that you have real control over the look and feel of Trap Code Shine. And rather than just applying it to logos, we'll look at how you can integrate it with real world footage. And we'll do this subtly so that it appears you have foggy, misty light beaming through the scene. We'll also look at some of the pitfalls that occur when you use Trap Code Shine and how you can avoid them, including a few workarounds that give you much better results. Trap Code Star Glow is an instant way to add sparkles to your footage, but we'll also look at ways of using it to add more interesting glows to your imagery, and how you can make really fine adjustments to the settings to get the exact result you want. And by combining it with Star Glow and Shine, you can create really complex and interesting animations. Then we'll move on to Trap Code Mirror, and I'll demystify this plugin and show how it can be used to create a variety of images from smoky floating sun flares through to an image that could have been taken of a human hair with an electron microscope. Trap code mirror can also be used to create metallic surfaces that ebb and flow, and you can even apply colored textures. You can even split a surface into strings, light them and arrange them in 3D space for some truly spectacular effects. Moving on to trap code form, I'll show how you can use particles to create forms in 3D space. We'll begin by getting a swirl of particles to form into a strand of DNA. Going a little deeper with form, I'll show you how it can be integrated with your real-world footage and how you can control the way objects move and explode over the course of time. We'll then look at Trap Code Echo Space, which is an ultra-quick and easy way to replicate an object in 3D space, which is ideal for motion graphics users. And Trap Code Horizon enables you to place a 3D layer inside an artificial horizon. Finally, we'll look at 3D Stroke. And this is an incredible plugin that enables you to create all sorts of swirling three dimensional shapes in a matter of moments. Or you can get it to draw out text, swirling text in 3D that gradually forms into the finished word. The Trap Code Suite is an amazing set of plugins, whether you want to create visual effects or motion graphics, and I'm sure you'll enjoy getting to grips with it. 